Hi, in this video I will talk about Laplacian edge detection. When we look at an image, we can easily discriminate boundaries and details of objects. Boundaries and details are edges. It is also possible to find these boundaries and details using image processing techniques. Process is called edge detection. Let's apply edge detection to half of the image. At the right, anchor boundary, details on concrete surface, C, and even shadow contour are observable. Edge detection is often used as a preliminary step of various applications, for example, object detection and image segmentation. In deep learning, some filters in early layers of convolutional base learn to detect edges at different orientations. For more information on what convolutional neural network learns, you may refer to Visualize Convolutional Neural Network Filters and Visualize Convolutional Neural Network Feature Maps videos on my channel. To illustrate related concepts more easily, I will use a simpler image. This is a digital RGB image, which means it has three channels. Edge detection is performed on single channel grayscale image. Grayscale image does not have color information and each pixel holds on the brightness value. For details of RGB grayscale conversion, you may refer to grayscale conversion and YCBCR color space videos on my channel. Grayscale image is simply a matrix. For an 8-bit image, pixel values range from 0 to 255. Let's zoom into this 10 by 10 rectangle. These are the brightness values for pixels inside the rectangle. Now let's view brightness data of low resolution version of this image as a 3D graph. Note how cluttered the surface is even for this simple image. And imagine the case for more complex images. It is clear that at edge pixels there are discontinuities. At the close neighborhood of edges, pixel values change remarkably. One method to detect edge pixels is to convolve image with a high pass filter. Convolution. In computer vision, convolution is used to extract image structures or features. 2D convolution of image I and kernel K is defined with this equation. Kernel is flipped. 
If kernel is not flipped, the operation is cross correlation. Image and kernel are both matrices. Kernel is generally much smaller than image. Convolution is sum of element wise multiplication. For a 3 by 3 kernel, 9 multiplications and 8 additions are needed. It can also be expressed as a dot product. Here is an animation that I created to illustrate the convolution process. There are different types of convolution. For more details, you may refer to convolution 1, 2 and 3 videos on my channel. Laplacian Edge Detection Using first order derivatives, as in Previtt and Sobel, to detect edges has a drawback. Consider this image which contains a smoothed edge. One row of brightness is plotted below. And this is first order derivative computed using Sobel. Image is scaled for illustration. For more details on Sobel method, you may refer to private Sobel edge detection video on my channel. One row of first order derivative is plotted below. If gradient threshold is set to 2, then thickness of detected edge is 168 pixels. Second order derivative estimate is used in Laplacian edge detection. Brightness image is a 2D matrix and Laplacian is defined as the summation of second order horizontal and vertical derivatives. This is second order derivative in horizontal direction. And the other one is second order derivative in vertical direction. This 1 by 2 kernel can be used to estimate first order horizontal derivative. If we convolve it with itself, We get this kernel, and this kernel can be used to estimate second order horizontal derivative. Left one is used to estimate first order, and the right one is used to estimate second order derivative. To compute Laplacian, two kernels are summed. Diagonal kernels can also be included. These are two versions of Laplacian kernel. 
sum of coefficients is zero for each kernel. So convolution outputs are zero for flat regions. Consider same image. This is first order derivative computed using Sobel. And this one is second order derivative computed using Laplacian. Zero crossing of Laplacian result corresponds to the peak of first order derivative as expected. Zero crossing of the second order derivative indicates edge location which is one pixel thick. Steps for Laplacian edge detection. Second order derivative is very sensitive to noise. Smoothing is needed before edge detection. Gaussian and Laplacian kernels are convolved and a single kernel is obtained. Method is named as Laplacian of Gaussian. Image is convolved with kernel and zero crossings are detected as edge locations. Laplacian of Gaussian needs a single pass over the image. Laplacian of Gaussian outputs thinner one pixel thick edges compared to Sobel and Previtt. And Laplacian output does not provide edge direction. Zero crossing detection. It is performed for each pixel separately on a 3 by 3 neighborhood. On Laplacian result, opposite neighbor pairs are inspected. There are three conditions. Opposite neighbors of zero crossing pixels should have opposite signs. Absolute values of opposite neighbors should have similar values. And absolute values of opposite neighbors should be larger than a threshold. If at least one pair of opposite neighbors fulfills above conditions, then center pixel is marked as zero crossing. This is the result of Laplacian edge detection, and brightness is scaled by 2 for illustration. Here is an animation showing the input and output of Laplacian edge detection. And that's all for this video. See you next time.